You learn something new every day, and today must be my lucky day because I've already learned two new things. I learned these two new things before the Price is Right was even over with. Yoda, yoda, yoda. The first thing I learned is that you can say whatever the fuck you want to online, and if you end your statement with all capital facts, it's a fact. Which brings me to the second thing I learned. Liberalism is a rotting, metastasizing, is that how you pronounce that? Global cancer that destroys everything it touches. It's not wrong. It's evil. It's not a coincidence that even liberals don't want to live in liberal hell holes. They escape to conservative states where they spread the liberal virus. Fact. I mean, it must be true because he said fact in all capitals after that. And all the replies just expand on that fact. What happens when the libs turn all the good people bad? When those good people have nothing to lose, what will happen? When evil fights evil, it's called war. Survival will kick in, and many in this country will be lost. Living in California my whole life as a live and let live, to each his own kind of guy, has given me nothing but heartache and sorrow. When I allowed those their space, they invaded mine, forcing their views down our throats. I suppose I get what I deserve. This is a warning. True liberalism is very much about freedom. The left has hijacked the word to conflate meanings. Leftism is the Marxist implementation of liberalism. It's a contradiction in philosophy, but uses a Trojan horse to affect a Marxist-based society. Why is liberalism evil? Because at its core, it's theft. Everything liberal violates the seventh commandment. Thou shalt not steal. How inconvenient for them. So liberalism must nullify those commandments and destroy their author. Is that not evil? There are exactly zero compelling reasons to continue sharing a society and system of government with these subversive leftist tumors. They are quite literally enemies within the gates of our republic and must be dealt with as such. Liberal leftism is the COVID-19 of American politics and the mass mandate is their attempt to silence all opposition so they can proceed to infect deeper and deeper into the cesspool of DC politics and everyday American lives. Ivermectin is a good anti-parasitic that can eradicate, that assists your immune along with a strong dose of conservatism, which in the end can alleviate the disease completely if taken in correct dosage. People in here said they don't believe me, and I don't care. I can't prove it without revealing people's names. But sadly, a lady who used to go to the same church as me left the church and got caught up in the religion of Trump hate. Her house went from really nice to unlivable while she watched nonstop NSNBC. She loved Rachel Maddow. Her four kids, three girls, one boy, had to do an intervention. And when she was put in a psychiatric hospital, Hall of Mercer, what the left has done to many people's minds is really sad. Bro, I grew up in Tennessee, but live in California. I keep trying to tell people in Tennessee what to watch out for, but they think they know better than me. I watched a bar in my hometown, Tennessee, go from a roughneck biker bar to a Mexican dance hall to a gay bar. What? What? First off, a Mexican dance hall and a gay bar sound kind of fun, but what does left politics have to do with the, turning a biker bar and eventually into a gay bar, seven degrees of Kevin Bacon into a gay bar? I guess conservatives would rather just a biker bar just turn into a vacant building. Fact.